It's Black Maternal Health Week, and during this time, an organization known as Count the Kicks is bringing awareness to racial disparities seen by many people of color. Their Richmond ambassador, known as Latanya West, says she's a mom and a doula, and the painful loss of her stillborn daughter has motivated her to help other moms like her. West says one of the hardest moments of her life was holding her stillborn daughter for the first time. It was devastating. Um, I felt like a failure. I felt like, oh, um, what if, what if I could have fought a little bit harder? Um, if I had a doula at that moment, they could have advocated for me to get more help. In 2008, West said she was about 26 weeks into her pregnancy when she started having contractions, but doctors assured her things were okay. I started having um, even stronger contractions. Um, they didn't listen to me. They told me to close my legs and they couldn't see anything on the screen. By the time I got to L&D, my daughter was pronounced dead um, and I still had to birth her and go through the whole birthing process. It was the hardest thing that any mother would have to go through. Doctors allowed Wes to hold her baby, Sarah Amelia, for a few hours. Instead of taking home a bundle of joy, Doctors gave her a special box containing her baby's footprints and pictures. Wes says she was told shortly after that that she wouldn't be able to have any more children or else she would die. According to data from the CDC, women of color are three times more likely to pass away during pregnancy than white moms. Shortly after losing her baby, Wes says she became a doula and helps moms often going to their appointments to be an advocate for them. She says 90% of her clients are black, a racial group that she says historically hasn't been heard in a hospital. People think that we have a high paying service, that's, a, that's false. Through our journeys, through slavery and everything, we just learn how to condition ourselves not to show our pain, but we are going through pain on a daily basis. Today, Wes is the Richmond ambassador for Count the Kicks, a program that provides help and resources to expecting and grieving moms and also helps advocate for them. Since her daughter's death, Wes says she's been by the side of other mothers like her, holding their hand with her daughter in her heart and mind. Now I look at this every birthday. She's always with me with every birth. Um, I've had 35 births so far as um, a doula. Every birth she is with me, um, keeping me strong and keeping me um, there for my clients. In a few weeks, Wes says she's going to be traveling to D.C. to receive midwife training and become the third generation of midwives in her family. Reporting in Norfolk, I'm Danielle Seda, News 3.